Uh, I'm really excited for this year. There should be a lot of fun things to come. So. Yeah, I feel like I have a lot more to give. While it is almost common knowledge that Kalen Walker is fast, it still came as a surprise just how fast he can actually be. In fact, just a couple of days ago, he set a new school record in the 100-meter dash. Just who is this athlete etching his name in history books? That's Kalen Walker for you. The Eddyville, Iowa native is a senior at the University of Iowa where both his parents attended college as well. He has been very active in sports since high school, which is no surprise given that he has a sports and recreation major. In high school, he placed third in the 200 meters with 22.83 seconds and then fifth in the 100 meters with 11.42 seconds at the state meet in junior year. He wasn't able to do much after that since the senior track season was canceled due to COVID-19. Still, for the entirety of his high school life, he was a four-sport standout. First team all district in football, first team all sub-state, and team MVP in basketball, and led Class 2A in steals his senior season as well as an all-state selection. Kalen was a 2021 Iowa Games champion in the 200 meters with 20.94 seconds. Then, as a junior in college, he competed for Indian Hills, where he bagged awards for both indoor and outdoor for the 2021 season. In the indoors, he placed second in 200 meters with 22.15 seconds and sixth in 60 meters with 6.90 seconds at Region 11 championships, as well as ran collegiate best 60 meters at Northwest Open with 6.87 seconds. During the outdoor season, he ran on the 400-meter relay and placed third in 39.78, in addition to posting a collegiate best 200 meters 21.52 at NJCAA championships. He also ran on the 400-meter relay and won the title in 39.90, as well as placed fifth in 100 meters 10.81 and 200 meters 21.35 at NJCAA Regional 11 championships. For the season, he ran a season-best 100-meter at Kip Janvrin Open with 10.65. The following year, he placed 13th at NCAA Championships with a time of 6.64. He also won 60 meters with a school record-setting 6.61 at Tyson Invite and placed third in 60 meters at B1G Championships 6.62. In the outdoor season, he set the then school record in 100 meters at the Baldi Castillo Invite 10.20. Soon after that, he ran the lead leg on the then school record setting and winning 400 meter relay at Jim Click Shootout with 39.03. Notably, that time ranks second all time at Iowa. When the 2023 season came, he continued to chase greatness in the sport. He competed at several events and concluded the season as a letter winner, just as he was in 2022. For context, a varsity letter is an award earned in the United States for excellence in school, college, and university activities. A varsity letter signifies that its winner was a qualified varsity team member awarded after a certain standard was met. It symbolizes pride and achievement, and getting your hands on one is no easy feat. Unsurprisingly, varsity letters are highly coveted, and anyone who wishes to earn one needs to prove that they deserve it. Kalen being a letter winner for two years in a row shows just how good of an athlete he is, don't you think? This season, he continues to prove himself on the track. He's working hard to attain his goals and is proven by his dedication in training. In fact, just before the holidays in December, he was in training, and then almost right after the new year, he was back at it again. Then, by late January, the fourth-year sprinter closed out Iowa's last home meet of the month with a bang. Walker broke his previous 60-meter school record with a time of 6.58. His race earned him a new personal best and meet title. According to an Instagram post he reposted, it was the third time he broke the 60-meter school record this year. He's a showman, Iowa director of track and field Joey Woody told Hawkeye Sports. Referring to Kalen, he said that he is running well and he was able to get the crowd into it. He executed a number of things well today. His fellow athletes were no slackers either. As a matter of fact, third-year Kaliba Jack ran a personal best time of 6.96 in the same race. Meanwhile, fourth-year hurdler Grant Conway set a new best in the 60-meter hurdles. Conway clocked in at 7.68 and took first place in the event. 
Woody shared that it was impressive for Conway to open up with a massive PR, especially a national qualifying type mark like that, he added. He had to battle through some injuries, so to see him succeed and be confident right now is great. Grant has trusted the process the entire way. Anyway, going back to Walker, a few days after he improved his previous 60-meter school record, he ran a new personal best as well as a season best of 6.51 in the distance, set at the Sports Performance Center Lubbock, Texas in early February. In a post by Iowa Track and Field, they noted, Kalen Walker does it twice yesterday. He flies to a 6.51 before the ink dries on his previous school record. And then, two weeks into March, Walker finished with a 6.64 second run at the NCAA National Indoor Track and Field Championships, placing 13th overall in the men's 60-meter dash at the Birmingham Crossplex in Alabama. While Kalen Walker was running for Indian Hills Community College a year ago and was sporting the black and gold of Eddieville Blakesburg Fremont before that, Walker is a second-team NCAA All-American for the Iowa Hawkeyes this year. The former EBF All-State sprinter exploded onto the scene this year, tying the 60-meter school record 6.69 in his Hawkeye debut at the prelims of the Jimmy Grant Invitational. Walker improved his all-time best mark at the Larry Weserick Invitational, becoming the lone school record holder in the 60 meters, 6.67, running that time in both the prelims and final. Walker bested top-level SEC competition at the Tyson Invitational, winning the 60 meters and improving his school record, 6.61, once again. The former EBF and IHCC standout also finished third at the Big Ten Championships, ranking 14th nationally going into the NCAA Indoor Championships. A few days later, the University of Iowa Track and Field closed out competition at the USF Alumni Invite, where Walker headlined the day with a new school record in the 100-meter dash. In yet another post, the Iowa Track and Field official Instagram page shared, Kalen Walker flies to a first-place finish and Iowa program record in the men's 100-meter dash. He's proving to everyone that he is not just a great 60-meter runner, said director of track and field Joey Woodley. He showed that he can compete with the best in the 100 meters also. Walker, whose previous best was 10.18, topped teammate Austin Kressley's record set last season by one hundredth of a second. Overall, Walker is a rising star in men's track and field at the University of Iowa. Since joining the college, he has participated in almost every race and finished in incredible positions. Not only was he named to the first-team All-American team in the 2024 season alone, but also finished third in the 60 meters with a fantastic 6.51 seconds at the Jarvis Scott Open. Under his dad's nurturing, the Iowa athlete has continuously improved and won many honors. For instance, in February 2024, he was named the Big Ten Men's Co-Track Athlete of the Week. Additionally, he won the 60 meters with 6.58 seconds at the Black and Gold Invite and was named the UI Men's Student Athlete of the Month for February. Needless to say, the sky is the limit for this talented track and field athlete who aspires to reach even higher in the sport. In fact, when asked... Question, are we expecting to see you at Olympic trials this year? Are you able to tell us that or not yet? Hey, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> he has more races to compete in before then, so let's just wait and see for now. But speaking of Paris, do you think this athlete will be there?